Federal safety officials today announced they're immediately stepping up inspections of pilot training programs at the nation's regional airlines. The FAA is doing it because of February's Colgan air crash near Buffalo that killed 50 people. The investigation has revealed critical pilot errors and inexperience. The hero pilot, Chesley Sully Sullenberger, was the first witness today as the National Transportation Safety Board opened three days of hearings into the Hudson River landing of U.S. Air Flight 1549 after that plane hit a flock of geese. And we learn more about the conversations in the cockpit. Here's David Curley. It took just three and a half minutes from bird strike to water landing. In the water. But 20,000 hours of pilot experience to avoid disaster. I think that it allowed me to focus clearly on the highest priorities at every stage of the flight without having to constantly refer to written guidance. The transcript of the cockpit conversation reveals an early irony. What a view of the Hudson, Sully says right after takeoff. But 33 seconds later, Sully calls out, birds. Co-pilot Jeff Skiles exclaims, whoa. Then thumping and shuddering sounds are heard. We got one roll, both of them rolling back, says Sully, realizing the engines have died. Passenger Billy Campbell could see that out his window. My best description of that engine was uh, almost a bonfire. Sully considers two nearby airports. I had to make sure I could make it before I chose that option. I decided I couldn't. So it's the river. Alarms are sounding in the cockpit. A computer is saying, too low, terrain, too low. Finally, Sully asks, got any ideas? Actually not, says Skiles. Ten seconds before this. First officer Jeff Skiles and I turned to each other and almost in unison at the same time with the same words said to each other, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. But the danger was not over. Water was flooding the rear of the plane. The safety board says a passenger opened a door, but on landing, the tail section had been ripped open, allowing water to gush in. Billy Campbell said today he had to climb and swim over seats. Until I got up to, uh, I think, row 14 or 12 or wherever the wing is, and uh, the first time that I felt like maybe I might make it. Captain Sullenberger says they were lucky. His jet was equipped with slide rafts and life vests, but many domestic airliners aren't. One improvement the safety board is now studying. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.